For the third week in a row, the Lego movie is number one at the box offices. The flick made $31 million last week and more than $180 million since it hit theaters. The movie has rekindled the love of Lego in kids of all ages. During the past few weeks, we've been getting reacquainted with Lego. Many of us spent our childhoods assembling castles and cars with Lego. There is generally a time when we put Lego away for the next generation. But for others, Lego was never stored away. For a lot of adults, um, they'll buy Lego for their children, they'll help their children put it together and that, but they don't think of it as something for themselves. Since the Lego movie hit the big screen, Great White has noticed more foot traffic. We sell more Lego to big kids, upwards of 30s to 40s to 50s to 60s, than we do to the little guys. Um, and the, the funny thing with the, the Lego for the big kids is it's, they're just as passionate about having it. Penny Lynn has been creating with Lego for years. The castle scene took just over two weeks to build. She feels creating with Lego is more than child's play. I, I would like to see uh, Lego for adults as accepted as model trains are for adults. The people that are coming in here, nobody's really ashamed of what they're doing. And uh, what you, we do have a whole bunch of people that built it back in the day, and now they're coming back in now and getting back into it. The cost of Lego ranges from a few dollars for a minifigure to hundreds for a big set. Each box has an age range stamped on it, but for some senior builders, these are only guidelines. Especially with the Lego movie, it's suddenly become kind of cool to be an adult who plays with Lego. It's, uh, I hope it's not such an embarrassing secret anymore. You know, enjoy it, don't feel guilty for it. It's a wonderful hobby. Dave Branco, CKPG News.